Hey everybody, Abolitionist Jay here with today's vlog. It's currently about 8.30 on July 8th, 2018. Murder Dog and I are sitting at our new stealth camping spot. We actually came here a little bit early tonight because, well, I was trying to record, record this vlog a little earlier and unfortunately there's just pretty much no place to pi find peace and quiet around here. We... We had been sitting at a local uh, park near one of the town pools, and you know we'd been hanging out for the, there for a while, parked in the shade, e even though it wasn't too hot today. The, the sun was pretty strong, so sitting in the sun got the car a little hot. So we found a shady spot, and we were nice and comfortable, and just kind of relaxing there for a little while, waiting for the pool to close down so we so it would empty out. And once it did, I set up to do uh, some recording because I had to record a, a short intermission episode for the Seeds of Liberty because, unfortunately, we attempted to record an episode this week, uh, actually getting together with uh, with Andre, Shane, and I, and the internet gods were just not smiling upon us. Uh, even though I was parked in a place where I had successfully recorded episodes with other people before, and even though I was told by my computer I had a great Wi-Fi connection, the uh, internet gods just didn't agree with us. Uh, you know, it didn't matter what service we used, it just wasn't working. So we ended up having to scrap that episode. So I had to put a little something out. So I got that recorded, and the the pool had emptied out. So there was, uh, you know, there wasn't pretty, there wasn't any really any people left around. So I figured it was be a good time to get outside and actually record the vlog. Unfortunately, every time I went to get out of the car, somebody else would just show up. The last draw was just I actually moved the car further down in the lot to where nobody was. And this is a lot that, you know, holds at like 75, 100 cars, maybe, maybe even more. I don't know. And, you know, nobody down where I was got all set up, was about to go out back, uh, you know, get go out behind the vehicle and you know, maybe even sit in the grass and record the uh, record the vlog. And sure enough, some guy just pulls up and out of all the spots in the lot, he decides to park two down for mine. And, uh, you know, just he, he wanted to go for a walk, but, you know, he could have parked anywhere. He parked right next to me. And uh, that just that was the last draw I had to get out of there because it just kept I just kept getting reminded of, well, how much I hate this place. There's so many people. They're all on top of each other. There's, you know, rarely at anywhere you can go for actual peace and quiet. And uh, even if you want to go to like the nature side and go to like the parks and stuff like that, eh, you got to pay for all those because, you know, the, ex the extortion that happens through your property taxes and everything else that they rape you for in order to make you pay for this crap isn't enough. So, yeah, just uh, another reminder of how badly I want to get off this fucking island. Anyway, so since last night's vlog... Uh, Murder Dog and I actually we did we did we we did stay in this spot again last night. It was uh, you know relatively quiet, all things considered. Uh, it was nice and cool again last night, so we were able to keep the tailgate shut and uh, just leave the windows cracked. And we had plenty of uh, you know pl plenty of uh, airflow in there to keep us both very comfortable. Got up this morning, actually recorded a short little video that I had already posted uh, t earlier today having coffee out on the back porch, as it were. Uh, got to see some of those geese again from yesterday. Not sure if it was the one, one of the, if, if one of them was the one who flew face first into the fence, uh, although I still haven't found a body around here, so I'm pretty sure he ended up being okay. And then uh, after we did that, headed off to Planet Fitness for, uh, for the daily shower and then down to our favorite local dog park to hang out for a while. And it was, uh, you know, from the start, it was another nice day around here, thankfully. Sun was pretty strong, so sitting in the sun was a little uncomfortable. But otherwise, you know, there was a nice breeze going most of the day. I don't think it actually got above much above 80, so it was a pretty great day uh, as far as weather-wise. So we went and hung out at the park for a while. And then eventually we met up with the kids. Unfortunately, that didn't last very long. Uh, they were kind of wiped out from the past couple of days, weren't really keen on hanging out in parks and stuff. There was some serious miscommunication uh, with their mom and I uh, beforehand, so it ended up, uh, you know, they, they came and met me. I wasn't really prepared for them to come and meet me because the last thing I had heard was that they weren't really into going to a park, and then my phone died, and when I turned it back on, it was like, oh, we're on our way, and by the time I actually read that message, I was seeing them pulling up in front of me. Uh, they didn't want to be at that park because they had spent most of the day at the park yesterday, so we, they wanted to go to another park. Uh, we went to that one. Uh, they didn't want to stay there that long either, and uh, like I said, there was there was some miscommunication. So things, uh, and and they had you know their mom had errands to run, so. 
they they actually wanted to go do that so we just went and got ice cream for a little while and you know i was reminded unfortunately again that they're uh they're not taking this very well the whole situation with me being out here on the road and whatnot and uh you know, it kind of sucks because uh, I, I, I know they don't understand yet that the reason why I'm doing this, that I'm out on the road living like this for them because I'm trying to save as much money as possible. You know, I know in their mind it would just be easier if I had, a you know, another place to live where they could come visit me or they could come stay with me. And, you know, as, as much as I would love for that to happen, it's just, you know, it would cost way too much money out here. And uh, I'll end up, you know, by the time I'm finally, finally allowed to leave this fucking place, I'll end up with nothing, and uh, that won't be very good. So, you know, I know it's rough on them, and I, I tried to explain to them once again why I was doing what I was doing. So, hopefully, at some point, they'll uh, they'll finally grasp on and you know understand that dad's not dad's not out here just having fun. Dad's out here trying to save money for them so they can have a better life in the future. So yeah, so uh, like I said, unfortunately, didn't get to see him for uh, for very long, and uh, once they headed off, Murder Dog and I found a place to park and uh just chill out for a little bit and then uh then yeah then all that stuff happened with the recording so it's been one of those type of days you know like i said unfortunately i keep getting reminded more and more not only about how much i hate this place um but also things like you know the fact that i still have plenty of stalkers out there uh including well sp- more specifically uh stalkers from my uh from my from <laughs> from their mom's family um i don't know what the fuck is wrong with you people honestly i've already had to call you guys out once before now there's more of you like do you not think that i'm gonna uh, do, you, do you think i'm not gonna notice rather that you're like you know liking my posts and stuff like that i know you don't like what i have to say it's just what is it just your way of telling me you're out there i know you're out there people i'm clearly in your fucking head still get a fucking life seriously anyway so like i said earlier today's the eighth that means tomorrow is the ninth which is uh my next court date and still don't have any information about that unfortunately i uh i texted with my lawyer briefly yesterday just to confirm the date and time but still no word about the judge's decision from the last time well actually two times ago because the last appearance was supposed to be the judge's decision on my on my lawyer's motion from the previous appearance. And of course, you know, she just kicked the ball, kicked the can down the road and wanted to extend it even further. So still no word about what that decision is or was or whatnot. Supposedly supposed to be in front of a different judge tomorrow. So once again, I will be walking into court, not having any clue what's about to happen or what's going to go down. So not super optimistic that things are going to go any better, but you know, just have to keep dragging this out because at this point it's, it's very obvious that the County of Nassau and the town of Hempstead for that matter, because I'm still dealing with crap on the, on the, on the house front, even, even though I don't own a house anymore, uh, are just, they're just constantly screwing with me, hoping that I finally cave. Well, you know what? I know there's enough spies out there. One of them is probably watching too. Guess what? Fuckers. I'm not going to cave. (laughs) <laughs> I haven't come this far. I haven't put up with this much bullshit to finally give in to your fucking bullshit. Not going to happen. You know, even e- e- even if things go horribly wrong in this case for me, at this point, I really don't care. You're not going to be able to punish me. You're going to try. You're not going to be very successful. You know, just like the people who have threatened to sue me over things. I said, go for it. Come and find me. Good luck. So... Yeah, it's uh, kind of an angry day for me at this point. Like I said, I just I keep getting reminded of, of how how horrible this place is, how horrible most of the people are, and uh, you know, other than the people I meet at the dog park, a lot of those people are really great. Have some great conversations down there. Other than that, everywhere else I go, it's just nonstop moronathon. And uh, yeah, again, horrible place, Long Island. Highly encourage you don't come here ever. So yeah, that's uh, I think that's about all I got for today. Like I said, court tomorrow, so there'll be uh, there should be multiple updates tomorrow. I'll have a I'll have an official court update, and then uh, I'll have the daily vlog. And uh, yeah, I mean, hopefully we get some better news because you know, like I said before, this whole situation is 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 hard on my kids, and I, I get that. And I'd like it to end for their sake, you know, obviously for mine too, but for their sake more importantly. Um, 
so yeah, hopefully we'll get, hopefully we'll get somewhere. Hopefully we'll get uh, some kind of inclination as to when I can finally stop doing this and actually leave the state and get a new place where they can come and stay with me more permanently. And then we won't have to deal with a lot of these problems. And plus, I'll be the fuck off Long Island, which will be spectacular. So, with that, I think I will sign off. But uh, as always, thank you everybody for watching, including my fucking haters and stalkers. Fuck you people again. Uh, seriously, grown-ass people who have nothing better to, d to do than fucking follow my shit uh, just to see what I'm up to. You know, if you, if you think these things aren't going to get back to me, folks, you're dumber than I thought. <laughs> uh, to live rent-free in people's heads is kind of a, a wonderful thing. It's one of the few things that's given me a smile today, other than actually getting to see and hug my kids today, you know. And Murder Dog, she usually makes me smile. But yeah, knowing that I still live rent-free in st some, of these side of some of these fuckers' heads, it's quite glorious. Little old me over here, you know, the one they didn't think would amount to anything. Obviously, I've mounted to something, because uh, you can't leave me the fuck alone. <sighs> Alright, so I will sign off now, but anyway, thank you everybody for watching. This has been Abolitionist J, and I'll, I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace, y'all. And fuck you stalkers. <laughs>